Lily Rose, great to see you again. We just spoke at Voyagers. Yes, we did. Nice to see you again. All right. And this is funny, George. Last time you and I saw each other was before the world went crazy. We were at the Four Seasons and we ran into you. We had just talked in 1917. Good to see you again, my friend. Yes, good to see you too. How are you? I am doing fantastic and I'm excited to talk about this intriguing film. Lily Rose, going to start with you. What made this role unique to anything else that you've ever done? I mean, I think that the nature of the, you know, the role is is unique by nature. And I and I, I thought that the, you know, the the challenge of both the, you know, the, the emotional side of the story as well as the physical side is what made it super exciting to me, as well as the prospect of working with people that as, as you know, creative and, and wonderful and inspiring as, as George and Natalie, our director, um, made this something that I, I really, really wanted to, to dive into. George, how difficult was it to walk? I, I was zeroing in on the way you were walking on your was it your 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 like my, my fingers? Like, yeah, yeah, we're all doing my, it right just now. Just my pose. Like, uh, well, um, I, I get that, but I'm like, okay. The first time I saw you do it in the movie, I went, "Ouch!" So, <laughs> tell me, tell me did that. In addition to that, what made it unique for you? I, th- I think the this the strength and the kind of clarity of the strangeness, if you know what I mean, in terms of the Jacob's um, uh, conundrum, for want of a better term, is so strong and simple that he is a wolf in a man's body. And that kind of single sentence has endless kind of complexities and possibilities and how you express that and explore that and what does that mean? And I and so therefore the kind of the, the clarity and the possibility of that sort of of that character is what drew me to it. And then uh, in, t- in terms of the physicality of the role, um, it was uh, it was it was a process of understanding, you know, first what it kind of was to be wild and our kind of uh, our offering of that. And then, yeah, a lot of work to kind of get the muscle memory and, and the pores down. There's a lot of blisters to begin with, but I think they, they healed up fine. I love the fact that we all did that together, too, when I brought that up a minute ago. <laughs> I saw you, Lily Rose. Um, OK, now I know that George had mentioned in a previous interview that I had read the uh, first part of the lockdown, he was practicing to do that. But Lily Rose, is it true that you really studied your own cat uh, <laughs> for the most? Is that OK? That's I have a cat and I, I always did. look at her. And I, I did a little her. bit. I mean, she's to be fair, my my cat is uh, is not quite as wild as as wild cat my character is. So I couldn't base it all off of him. But I was I was studying his movement a little bit. And I was also kind of like watching to see how he reacted to my movement. I felt that I could like, you know, just by kind of gauging his reaction to what I was doing, I would see kind of like if I was doing all right or not. And like, I feel still that I like, you know, I feel like, like you said about the muscle memory, George, like I feel like it's still in me a little bit. Like I could still get into it. I think if I wanted to and get down on the, the ground and crawl around with my cat. <laughs> Fantastic portrayal, you both. Uh, and I, I want to talk, no spoilers, but there is one particular scene where you both are interacting with each other. Uh, and and I had never heard of, uh, is it this, this, this this uh, species dysphoria, uh, I'd never heard of it. Now I've gone down the rabbit hole and studied it. Also, I see the Id- self-identity you know, uh, uh, matter that, that deals with these characters in this movie as well. But that scene that I'm talking about where you both are in deep character, what was going through your minds? Uh, Lily Rose, I want to start with you on that one. That scene is is a uh, I I love that scene so much and and it's really important for an, a number of reasons. First of all, because I it's a really important scene between our two characters when they're kind of meeting in their in their animal forms and and you know getting to know each other in in this kind of very uh, very free way in this way that feels very comfortable and very you know special to both of them. Um, but I think also because that scene was kind of a basis for a lot of our rehearsal, we did a lot of kind of like animal movement improv that you know, could have been for that scene or could have just been like for the, you know, the, the, the building up of the, of the characters, but that scene kind of took on a lot of different forms uh, in t- to, to become what you see on the screen. And so that was a really, a, a really kind of great uh, place for us to explore uh, all of that. I love that scene. Thank you. Oh, me too. George, I'll give you the last word, your thoughts on that particular scene. Well, likewise, thank you so much for mentioning it. Cause it's it, likewise, it's one that's really close to my heart. And I think I, I just love uh, without sounding too sort of like oh well done us, but I've never seen anything like it, and 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 the possibility of that when we were sort of making it, um, and the and that Natalie kind of giving over to sort of making a bit of cinema that that is that I just loved. I think it's really kind of beautiful, and and as Lily said, it sort of became the core of understanding and of practice for so many other elements of the story and characters. So 
Yeah, and thank you for mentioning it. Yeah. My pleasure. Kudos yeah. to you both. Excellent work. You totally immersed yourselves in the in this role like you always do. Great to see you both. Stay safe, and next time, let's do it in person. I really yeah. want that, okay? Thanks. Right. Thanks, yeah. Thanks so right. much. Thanks.